Okay, so it's the end of the day. I just completed the framing. Now I gotta go to the store and get some lumber and uh, some plywood and I'm gonna set it down on top. So what I did right here is, you can see I welded angle iron every foot all the way down and all I'm gonna do is run some two by four rafters across and screw them into the rebar, or I'm sorry, the angle iron. And these are on these pallet rack posts or pallet rack beams, which I love to use. So basically, um, I used rebar as, as my cabling instead of using cables, because I initially was just gonna use like uh, some of the cable that I had. But honestly, the rebar itself, is I have so much left over from the house, uh, the foundation, I just decided to just use it instead. Um, it's nice because it's easy to chop off when you're done with it. So you can just weld it on where you need it to, uh, to brace everything up. So you can see what I did. I just put some cross bracing here on each side because it comes out so far because these are 12 foot wide and did it on the front as well. And then just put it in some uh, strategic places to kind of hold this in place so it does not move. And you know what? It accomplishes the objective. I cannot move this. So um, that's the idea. And then once I get the lumber, I'll set that up there. I still have to put some type of step stool to get up on top here. And then of course I gotta put it all across the top. There's a lot of little things that I gotta do, but for the most part, the main fabrication part is done, uh, at least on the metal side of things, and the rest of it's just gonna be lumber, and uh, we'll be able to get ready to get started on these trusses.